Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Bastion and welcome back to a brand new video on the Source Code channel. In this video, I'm going to explain sets and what they are and how you can use them. So a set is a way to store um, unique values in JavaScript. So a set can only hold one of each um, value and that might sound a bit confusing but let me just show you how it works. So to declare a set we can say const set equals a new set. And you can see that here the set object lets you store unique values of any type whether primitive values or object references. And objects are explained in another video and primitive values are basically strings, numbers, uh, anything else that you can think of. So now that we have a set, there's a couple of things we can do with it. So the first thing we can do is um, add a value to the set. So we can say set dot add, which appends a new element with a specified value to the end of the set object. And we can say a number five. Then we can lock I want to lock the set so you can see what it actually is. Lock the set here and lock it down there. And then I want to add another item, we say 10 and I lock the set. So if we go into console now, we will see a set which has nothing in it, so zero. Then a set with the size of one, then a set with the size of two and we see five and five, 10. So a set is in the order of um, entry. So what we can do is we can check if the set contains an item. So if we say set dot has um, five, and I lock this into console console dot lock set dot has five, and I do that for seven as well we would see true and false because the set contains five because we added five to it so the set has five but the set, do set doesn't have seven now I said that sets can only hold one of each um, value so what would happen if we add five back to the set and we lock the set again because the set already holds the number five so what would happen if we at number five again we would see that it wouldn't do anything so we will just add this to the set but because it's already in there it doesn't add anything and it doesn't throw an error it doesn't uh, do anything special it just uh, takes in a value and it does nothing with it then there's also um, the way a set is structured is like a map which I will probably cover in the next video so a set basically has a key and a value but it doesn't actually hold a key and a value because there's nothing so we say a 5 equals the value of 5 that's basically how it's structured but it isn't actually structured like that it's kind of strange how it works but what we can do is console.lock our set and then say uh, values which is the primitive values of the specified object. Oh, that's not what I wanted. And then console.log set.keys. We will see set.value is not a function. Okay, set.values. And we will see that it's an iterator, but both iterators have the same amount or the exact same values. So what we can do with this um, this stuff is uh, for const item of set dot values console dot log item, and I made it a one liner so I don't have to use parentheses. We can see five ten. Now if we do this for keys, it would work the same five ten. And I believe that if we remove this at all, it would still lock 510. So it's kind of a strange thing to do, but you can loop through it. And I guess that 
in case you wanted to create an array you could use set.keys or set.values to create an array out of the set so now that you know how a set works there are a couple of things that make it useful and that first thing is that it allows you to check if uh, the set contains an item and because it can only hold one item it's quite easy to do uh, certain things so I want to write a function that adds a user and a user provides a name and a password and I want there to be only one person per name so I don't want people to have uh, the same name so what we can do is say function create user and we want a name and a password and then I want to return a value or um, yeah let's make it so if there is uh, the user is created successfully I want to return uh, true and if the user isn't created successfully I want to return false so we can check if the user is created properly so first thing I want to do is I want to check if the name is already in the set so what I can do if uh, set dot has name I want to return false because then the name already exists so I don't want that now after that we can do set dot add um, name and what I actually want to do is I want to um, yeah what I want to do is I want to say set dot add name and then I also want a password I'm not quite sure how I wanted to store this. Um, no, well, we can just remove that. We just have create a user with a name. So set dot add a name, and then what I want to do is I want to return true because we successfully created that user. So what we can now do is we can say create a user, and we can um, and I want to log this because we get a value back, so we can immediately see if it worked or not. And I want to add um, sep and another user whose name is um, uh, bird. I don't know why bird. And then I want to create another user, but this user has the same name as mine, so it has sep. And this won't work because we don't want. Um, as the same name being used twice so we can see if we say true true false because sep isn't there yet so we add it we return true bird is not there yet so we can add it we return true but sep is already there so we return false so as you can see this is how you create a user system with only one um, name per user now what we can also do is uh, delete user by name and if set dot has name return false and I want to change this to if not set dot has name because I don't want to delete it if the set doesn't contain that user and then I want to say set dot delete which removes this value and then return true so what we can do is we can say um, console.log delete user and I want to remove sep then I want to remove somebody who doesn't exist so I want to remove um, verb I'm coming up with strange names now strange words and I want to delete a user of um, now I want to create another user create user set so I add myself back so what we can see is we lock true true false true false true so the first true is because there isn't a user with the name sep second true is because there's not a user with the name burp bird I mean then we return false because there's already a user with the name sep then we delete the user sep which worked because we returned true then we delete the user gerb which returns false because there's already the there's no user called gerb so we can't delete him 
and then we return or we try to create a new user with the name Seth and even though we already had a user with the name Seth up here I can still create a new one because we deleted that user so we return true so this basically um, is everything there is to a set um, there's also a couple of methods like length and other stuff which you can find on the MDN docs under set so if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode